if you watched my other videos, you might remember this bird. This is my first generation uh, waterproof drone, the H60 Hexacopter. It worked for a while, but unfortunately it had problems which led to its failure. For example, I used mostly fiberglass instead of carbon fiber, which uh, is not strong enough, so it would flex a lot. That led to cracks and stress points here and here. Also, the canopy was uh, attached with a bunch of um, bolts and I used a grease gasket. That was also not the best way to seal up this compartment and I would get water in there. The battery, even though I did my best to waterproof it, uh, I used liquid rubber right here and then uh, dielectric grease on the connectors. Same on this one. And we're talking about a battery sitting in salt water, so um, yeah, it, it wouldn't work for it long. So that's also not the best way to have a lipo installed. Eventually one of the ESCs failed, it burned and um, I crashed it into the water and it ended up looking like this. So I stripped it from its electronics and uh, started working on the second generation waterproof drone. I present Super 4, second generation waterproof drone. Now the design is based loosely on the Russian Yega Cherno Alpha from the movie Pacific Rim. And this allowed me to move all the guts, all the electronics up here in a nice tight package. So I have room here for a battery, which is uh, enclosed inside. The body is 100% carbon fiber, as you can see here in the unpainted spots. Motor connectors are much better now. Uh, those are bullet connectors with heat shrink tubing over it. Access port to the USB is behind this sticker. Video transmitter cooling right here. The radio antennae are much better spaced now. This allows me to have full control even if I land upside down in the water. The ESC is mounted here and that gives me better cooling. Another cool feature about it is that it has telemetry so on my video feed through the camera I can see the temperature of the ESC, the flight controller, voltage and amperage drawn which is coming really in handy. So to get to the battery I have to undo those four thumb screws. And just pop it open there you go there's a foam rubber gasket here it's very tight in there but I can fit a 1500 milliamp hour battery inside <laughs> 